What's up guys? This is going to be a pretty short video, but as we saw in my last video with my emulation computer, this GPU was uh, overheating, and just as I suspected, the uh, thermal paste on this uh, Vega 64 was completely dried up. I, I literally just went poke, and it all just fell apart. And then when I got to this part, I took some alcohol on a pad and it all just kind of came off. I thought I was going to have to fight with it, but it just kind of came off no problem there too. So it was so dried that it literally came off like clean as it probably was almost when it was put together. Anyway though, I've been trying to decide whether or not to repaste it with normal paste or with liquid metal. And I think I'm going to go with liquid metal. So I'm just going to go and uh, cover all these guys up with some... Uh, what did they call that stuff? Nail polish. So, kind of creates a barrier in case some of the liquid metal leaks off of here. Because that stuff's obviously liquid metal, so it's extraordinarily conductive. So you have to be very, very careful with it. I just really didn't feel like putting normal paste on there. Still being like, oh, those are temps could be like a couple degrees cooler. Eh, let's tear the whole thing back apart again. This way I can just do it one time, be done with it. So, time to get this thing prepped for liquid metal. All right, well, we, uh, if I can get my camera to focus, here we go. We've got some, uh, we got some nail polish all spread out around all of those. It's all dried. Look at that, I could just use some of Danielle's. Didn't have to go buy any. But, all right, let's get to uh, this liquid metal spreading. Okay, so I did not have enough uh, of the liquid metal, so I just kind of got rid of what I put on there, which was not easy. That stuff is absolutely terrible to work with, but man, it has good temps when you actually get it on there, right? Anyway, some of it also spilled off the side, so I had to carefully get every little bit of it off of all the little connector things. Hopefully I didn't break it, but if it did, oh well, I'll just grab a new GPU. This thing's pretty old anyway. But, alright, let's get this thing put back together and see if the temps improve at all, compared to what they were in the last video. Whoop! Well, I moved the Xbox into my bedroom, so... Make it a little less cluttered here. You just don't see the point of having it in here if I can use this computer, this computer, or that computer. You know, the Xbox is kind of pointless. So, put it in the other room where if I feel like in the middle of the night can't sleep and don't feel it come all the way on here, I can just play there. I also put the, the Google Stradia in there too. Because I almost never use that in here. Why would I use that when there's so many superior options? I kind of just got that as a goof. Because it's like 9 bucks a month. And they basically gave me the controller and everything for free. So it's like, eh, why not? I get a cool controller. Anyway, though. Unfortunately, it seems like I did a terrible job at repasting. Because I'm pretty sure that hotspot temp is higher. I'm not sure about the other ones. Actually, I think I can just bring up the video because I haven't that I made about this node because I haven't actually uploaded it yet. So let me go find that and skip ahead, and we can just get to the exact part and see if how we did. Okay, so I pulled up the video, and it seems that the GPU temperature itself went down a couple degrees, but everything else got significantly worse. Well, not significantly, but the the, the uh, hot spot got five degrees worse. I mean, significant. I mean, that's went like twenty degrees up. It was overheating and throttling and terrible. But and look at that, the fan even spun up more in this one. So that might be the only reason it's a little louder. So yeah, what I need to do is get some actual liquid metal on there. That's the absolute best thing probably for it. I just don't think, uh, it's hard to spread on that HBM memory, seeing as though there's, like, two memory cores and the GPU core. I think the hot spot is in between the little lines, and I probably just didn't get enough thermal compound in there. But, 
liquid metal will seep into every little line there is. So if I can just get another bottle of that, I think everything will be good. But at least this isn't like dangerous or anything. It's not going to break. I mean, I don't really run anything as intensive as superposition and like every day anyway. So still, I'll, I'll do an updated video of, with the liquid metal in a little bit. But anyway, it's unfortunate this didn't work out to where I wanted it to, but hey, it is what it is. You can't win them all, and at least I show my mistakes instead of just pretending it never happened. So that's at least nice. Anyway, till the next video, peace out, guys.